Welcome to part two of this video uh, in which we are doing a two-dimensional analysis on the forces acting at the joints of a frame that is supporting a diving board. In part one, we basically set up the problem and went through two free body diagrams. And as a result of going through those two free body diagrams, the second of which we actually have on the screen right now, we uh, had managed to solve for five of the nine unknowns that we had. And so what we need to do now is do the last free body diagram, and uh, that should give us the last unknowns that we need. So let's go to the last free body diagram, and I've chosen to do this one member. So there's a pin at A, a pin at C, and a pin at E, remember. So we need to put in the reaction forces, at A, we have F uh, A Y, and there was an X component that we solved for that was zero, so I'm not even going to draw it. Um, we have then at C, F C X and F C Y. And then at E, we've already used the um, reaction forces uh, in a, at E at a pre, in a previous free body diagram in the second one we did. So in order to make sure these forces are equal and opposite, we need to draw it going down as FEY and going from FEX is going from uh, right to left. Okay. Okay, so we'll finish, or I'm sorry, not finish. We will um, begin working on this diagram by setting the sum of the moments at C, or about C, equal to zero. And uh, this will be useful. Um, it will allow us uh, to find FEX because we already know FAY and FEY. So uh, FAY. Uh, will have a positive moment. It's trying to uh, rotate uh, counterclockwise. So we have FAY times a moment arm of one meter. So the horizontal distance from here to here is one meter. Um, minus FEY times one meter. Uh, FEY is inducing a counterclockwise rotation, and it has a moment arm of one meter minus FEX, which has a moment arm of 0.5 meters. It's acting on this moment arm. So that's 0.5 meters. And that's equal to 0. And from this, we can then solve for FEX. And this will be minus 9,702 newtons. And now that we have FEX, we can go back to our previous uh, uh, star 1 equation. We now know FEX. That means we can solve for FDX. Uh, Again, FDX is going to be negative FEX. So it will be 9,702 meter or newtons. Okay, so we're making good progress still. We're almost done. We need to do uh, the summation of the forces in the x direction. And um, that then tells us that, um, let's see, what does that tell us? So let's see, the sum of forces in the x direction is 0, tells us that um, FCX minus FEX is equal to 0. And we know what FEX is. Uh, and so this basically, we can rewrite this as FCX is equal to FEX. So we have FCX is equal to minus 9,702 newtons. Okay. And we have then the sum of forces in the y direction is equal to 0. 
This will give us minus f a y plus f c y minus f e y is equal to zero. So this says then that f c y is the sum of f a y and f e y, and that is twenty two oh five newtons, two thousand two hundred and five newtons. So there we have it. We've solved for all of the reaction forces in the frame against the board. And um, I guess in conclusion, uh, again, uh, the reason why we had to use three different free body diagrams is that we didn't have any two force elements. Uh, so we couldn't use the method that we had worked on with trusses. We actually had to look at the free body diagrams of the components. Now, the free body diagrams that I've chosen here are not the only way we could have done it. So if we go back to our original picture, uh, for example, what we could have done is a free body diagram of the board, as we, our first free body diagram was, then a free body diagram of just one member, say ACE, and a free body diagram of BCD. I actually worked it out uh, first that way, but decided not to do the video that way because I discovered when you work it out this way, um, with the free body diagram of ACE and BDE, you get equations where you can't isolate one unknown. So you end up with a system of six equations and six unknowns, which you then have to solve. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, solving uh, six linear equations in today's world of computers and such is pretty, pretty easy. Uh, but I kind of personally prefer uh, the situation where you can solve for things as you go. In any case, uh, if you ha did both of those correctly, you'd get the same answer. So hopefully you found this video useful, and thank you for watching.